The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Universal Championship. He's the Lone Wolf. Baron Corbin, a WWE superstar who does not care what you think, what you feel. Baron Corbin's only concern in this world is Baron Corbin. The Lone Wolf is a man who doesn't seem to play well with others because he says others always have a problem with losing. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Glove boxing champion. NFL offensive lineman turned champion in WWE. The look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Seth. Stay tuned. The bell is rung and Baron Corbin is on the prowl. 
And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, wow. and understandably so. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term Lone Wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. Spinning kick to the gut. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, nasty impact. This might be it. Oh, my. Kick to the... There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with it. The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The end of days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the lone wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. What a stomp! Good grief! Striking blow. Baron Corbin doesn't care about the WWE rulebook, the officials, or how the WWE universe perceives it. Corbin is a wrecking machine who will make sure anyone who stands in his way will feel the wrath of the lone wolf. Oh, what an uppercut! Attack to the midsection. Byron, you made a great point earlier about Baron Corbin and, well, He's all about Baron Corbin. Remember, this is a man who was thrown out of the NFL after a serious altercation during a team practice. Lone Wolf is right. Look, I'm one of the few people who can say they're friends with... Nail it! Nice. Shut it down. Seth Rollins, he's firing on all cylinders. You guys think Seth Rollins could actually get rolling here? Well, the architect is rolling now. Tiger suplex! Right on the back of the neck. Beautiful... Bam! That creates a big opening here. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. He might have it. Yeah, right to the oh. back of the neck. Can he finish the job? The champion into the cover! I like the way you describe this match, Byron. Yes! Takes it! That match deserves another look. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe this. And last but not least... Here's your winner, and still WWE Universal Champion. Amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive. Mr. Money in the Bank! big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see.
Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Big slam. And the slam. If you're rooting for Seth Rollins, you have reason to worry now. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions in recent memory. Man. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. You want to know how dangerous Brock Lesnar really is, guys? Just go ask Triple H. After all, Lesnar did break the game's arm twice. What, are you trying to get me fired, Cole? There's no way I'm going up to Triple H and asking him that. Boom! <laughs> Shoulders on the back. Oh, nasty impact. And a speedy kick out by Brock Lesnar. Not yet. Too early. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Devastating elbow. What a slam. Impactful. Will jar your spine. Cole brings up a good point about the danger that Brock Lesnar poses. And keep in mind, Triple H isn't the only person who suffered a broken arm at the hands of the Beast. That's right, Corey. Triple H's good friend, Shawn Michaels, also had his arm broken at the hands of Brock Lesnar. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Oh, what impact. Boom! Oh, a knee right to the face. What a stomp. Good. You know, guys, when Brock Lesnar came into WWE in 2002, he was immediately dubbed Suplex City. He's back in control here. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Here it comes. He's got him. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. back to that one. The next big thing was an accurate assessment of Lesnar, as Michael was saying, but truth be told, he didn't need a catchy nickname. Everybody could already see how dangerous he was. <laughs> Especially Matt and Jeff Hardy, who Lesnar completely decimated at the same time in his earliest matches. I don't think they've ever truly woken from that. we've all been waiting for, guys, and so far it's delivered the goods. Oof! Just a step quicker, it looks like. Now hooking him up! Face buster! Oh, 
Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the Beast. Harsh impact. He has a. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Dominating shoulder tackle. Corey, we know that Seth Rollins is a top competitor here in WWE, but he isn't without his faults. How can his opponent expose any flaws? If you had to point out one flaw in the game of Seth Rollins, it's that he tends to be a very highly emotional competitor. Seth hit the cover. Power slam. Good night. What is keeping this competitor going? Not yet. Oh, look at this raining down sharp elbow. You know, Byron, as Corey alluded to, we've seen how Seth Rollins can allow his emotions to steer him in the wrong direction and take his eyes off the prize. Yeah, nothing was more evident of that than when he and Dean Ambrose lost their tag team championships because they were preoccupied with an invading New Day instead of focusing on their challengers. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? Yeah, right to the oh. back of the neck. Gotta like the chair. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Two. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, try again. There is no way that is going to topple the Beast Incarnate. I got to agree with you, Corey, on that one. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Incoming. Mooso! You see that height. Oh, the oh my goodness, crushing it. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Beautiful technique. Axe handle finds its target. Here we go a second time. This one is over. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. Is that enough for the win? This guy just refuses to quit. This is amazing. Here we go. Brock Lesnar is setting it up. Brace for impact. Here it comes. With the Champ kicks out. Well, Seth Rollins reaches deep and finds the will to survive. I expect nothing less. Double axe handle smash. At the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. What a stomp. Good grief. Good red suplex. Making it look easy. He's looking for the win. Open the history books. We've got a new champion. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. Who could forget this? He ain't playing here. He's getting after it here. And finally, here is your winner and the new WWE Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. That was a big pinfall victory right there.
These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match.